So in our previous video, we actually had some visual feedback that something is happening. So in our case, when we're actually fetching more data to display onto the screen for our user. Now in this video, what we want to do is actually take this one step further specifically for our create screen and actually give some visual feedback to tell the user that their submission was successful. So what we want to do is actually build out a view that animates from the center of the screen with a tick to indicate that everything was okay. So let's actually look into this now. Since this is going to be its own component that could be reused, what we're going to do is create a new view called checkmark pop overview. So we're going to use the symbols that we defined in our project at the start to help us do this. So let's go into our base folder here and then we'll go into views and then we'll create a new Swift UI view called checkmark pop overview. Cool. So within this file, we're just going to add in the checkmark symbol with a bit of styles. So let's just do that now. In our symbols, let's add in a new one called checkmark. It's going to be image. And then the system name is going to be checkmark, like so. Cool. And just to make sure that that exists, we'll just type in here checkmark. And it's the one that we want. So yep, yeah, that's all good. And then within our pop over view, we're just going to say symbols dot check mark and then the font on it is going to be a system style of large title and then we want the design to be rounded and then we just want it to also have a font a bold applied onto it as well like so cool let's go break this up to make it easier to see cool so if you just run this you should now see our check mark on the screen which is all good now I actually want to give this view a background of a material and I actually will cover this in my video in the Swift UI sessions playlist. So let's actually give this a background with the material of Finn. So we'll just go back into here. So now you should see that we actually have our material applied onto the background of this image, which is all good. But you can see that it's actually quite tight to the edges of it. So we just simply need to apply some padding onto this. So before our background, we wanna actually add some padding so that it has some space around it like it does now. Now, so we can actually see this a lot easier as well. I'm simply going to update our SwiftUI preview layout to include the size that fits and also add a bit of padding as well as set a background color of blue so it's just clear. And you should see it a lot more easier once you apply those styles cool so now we actually have our view the next thing we need to do is actually add in some logic to communicate when the submission was successful so that we can handle showing this popover so in order to do this we're going to need a closure and i actually covered this in my video that goes over closures also so in the create view let's actually create a closure that allows us to know when the form submission was successful so if we go into our create view after our state object, we're just going to create a closure called successful action. Cool. And then we need to actually add in the closure to our preview because now it will be broken. So we just want to add in an empty closure like so. And we want to actually call this closure when the submission was successful. So after our dismiss, we then now want to also call our successful action closure like so. Cool. So this is looking good. So we should have another issue in our project because we actually use our create view within our people view. So if you go into a people view, it should be complaining that it's missing that closure implementation, which is fine. So now we just need to implement the closure that tells us that the submission was successful. And within here, we're now going to start writing the animation logic for showing that pop overview that we just created. 
So the first thing we need to do is actually create a local state variable at the top of the file that allows us to essentially toggle showing and hiding that check mark popover view within this people view. So at the top, we're just going to create a property called should show success. Cool. This is going to be the source of truth that is used for handling showing that pop over in the middle of the screen or not. So now we need to handle any transitions and animations. And if you want to learn more about this, then check out my videos in the Swift UI sessions playlist, which I'll link as well. So when our view receives communication via the closure, we need to actually call the with animation block to then toggle this source of truth. So let's do that now. So what we're saying here is that when the submission is successful via our closure, we're actually going to call you know, the toggle function on our should show success. And we're going to do this within a web animation block. So it animates any views that are affected by this property here. The next thing we want to do is actually show our check mark view and actually wrap it around an if statement if it should show itself. Now, in order to achieve this, we'll actually use an overlay to position our view on the top and we'll add it in after our alert. So after our alert, let's just say, what we've got up here is our overlay and we're just essentially saying that if it should show the success then it should add in the check mark pop over view so we've added in the logic to actually show our check mark pop over but we've not actually added in any logic to remove it once it's on the screen after a certain amount of time now in order to do this we need to actually use the on appear modifier on our check mark so when it appears we're going to tell it to get rid of itself now in order to resolve this let's just add in that on appear and then we'll also add in some kind of delay to basically help us remove it from the screen so we're just going to say on appear and then we're going to have the closure for the on appear here and then within this closure this is where we're going to add in our delay so we're going to say dispatch queue dot main dot async after And we're going to say now plus one and a half seconds. So we're going to say one and a half seconds after our view appears on the screen, it should execute the code within this closure. And then what we want to do within this closure is actually use the with animation block. And then within this with animation block, we simply just want to call this toggle to basically tell it to hide itself again. So this should set it back to false. Cool. So now we have the logic for actually showing and hiding our view when it appears. So let's actually just test this out. So if we just run this now on the simulator. So when I want to test out animations, I prefer to use the simulator. It just, it's just a lot more reliable for me personally. So let's just do that. Cool. And then if we just test this out, so we just run this. So just enter in anything else and we hit submit. You now see that we get a check mark on the screen and it disappears after a certain amount of time. But rather than it just like having a basic fade animation, what if we actually want to have it where it scales from the you know middle of the screen and fades out and also scales down and fades out as well. Well, we can simply do this by just adding the transition onto our check mark pop over view before the on appear. So after here, if we just say dot transition dot scale combined with opacity, this will actually help us combine a scale animation and an opacity animation and this is what it will do when it inserts and removes itself off the screen so let's just run this again now so let's just test this out so if we hit plus button here and just enter in some information and then hit submit you should now see that we actually have some you know nice feedback on the screen to show us with like the scale in and scale out animation so this is all looking pretty good so that's everything in this video if you enjoyed this video i'd really love to hear your feedback in the comment section below also as well if you haven't already i'd really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel and hit notification bells to get updates for whenever i release a new video that's everything from me i'll catch you on a bit deuces